In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can create a new repository and push it up to GitHub using Source Tree. And uh, what you need to have in place in order to, uh, to follow the tutorial is uh, you need a folder with some files to be tracked. And uh, in the example, I'm using a, a Java project, uh, a Java web app that is done in IntelliJ. And uh, then you need to have uh, Git installed and uh, also uh, Source Tree. And uh, you can download that from sourcetreeapp.com. And uh, then you need to go in and create a GitHub, uh, a GitHub account. And um, the plan, you, you could also use uh, Bitbucket instead of GitHub, but I'm just using GitHub as an example. So the plan I'm going to follow is that first I want to create a .git ignore file in the root directory. And then I'm going to create a, a new repository and I'm going to do it from source tree. And then I'm going to push it up to GitHub uh, as a remote repository. And then I'm going to show how you can, you, can, uh, you can keep your files up to date when you're just working on the different files in future. So um, let's first uh, look at uh, the folder. And uh, this is uh, one, it's called Web App Tutorial. And I have, uh, you know, different, different folders here. I have an out folder, source folder, a web folder. And, uh, and uh, the point is with a Java project, the whole out folder, you don't really want to push that up to a, to a remote repository because these files are generated every time you compile the project. So in, in case you are sharing, uh, the, the the problem or the project uh, with some other developers, uh, you wouldn't want uh, this this folder to be uh, to be tracked, and uh, and also there are, there are several other files that you wouldn't really want to uh, to get pushed up there. So then what you can do is that you can actually create a special file called git ignore that you put in this uh, root folder, and uh, in there you can you can specify which kind of files that you don't want git to track, and uh, one way to do it. Uh, I'm just using IntelliJ and I have my project here and I could just go to uh, to the root folder and uh, and here I just create a new I say new file and I call it dot git ignore like this okay and then in this file I can actually put in all kind of, of different um, different files and I have I have some examples that I'm just gonna copy in here and uh, the first one is called .idea. This one, .iml, actually I would like to have that uh, from the beginning, it's a project file. And uh, this .ds store on a Mac, uh, this, is, this is actually stored in, in every folder and you don't want that to go to GitHub. And, uh, but if you have a Mac, it, it, it's a good idea to put it in. If you have a PC, then it, it doesn't really matter. And then the out folder uh, is also put so we don't we don't get that one tracked. So that's it. And then I just save my file. And uh, then I'm actually ready. Uh, if I go back here, you can say, now I created my git ignore file. And uh, now I want to create a new repository in source tree. So the first thing I want to show is if I uh, go to finder, my web app tutorials folder, uh, the content is, uh, I have an out folder, source folder, and a web folder. And uh, if we look in IntelliJ, it corresponds to my my web app tutorial project here. And um, so if I go back to this one, uh, uh, I actually want to have all this put into a Git repository. And the one easy way to do it, if we uh, open this source tree, um, the source tree application, I want to create a new repository. And I say, uh, create local repository. And um, then I, I need to find the folder and I go down to my documents folder, web app tutorial, I open and uh, it's Git. And I actually also want to create a remote repository at the same time. And I say create. And then it says, what is your account? And I have a GitHub account and the name of my remote repository should be the same name as a local one. And uh, I don't want to make it a private, it could be a public repository. And this is a uh, web app uh, tutorial uh, for educational use. I say create. And 
And if I go in here now, I can see that these uh, local files, they are in my local repository. And if you see here uh, my remote, I have an origin. And uh, hopefully if I go to my GitHub account and I refresh my page on GitHub, I can actually find my web app tutorial down here. And uh, it's still empty because I haven't pushed up the files yet because I haven't, I haven't made my first commit. So uh, I'll, I'll start doing that. So I have a bunch of files here and I want to commit. And I say, this is my first commit. And then I can choose to push the changes immediately to origin master and uh, I'll do that. So now I, I commit it uh, locally and uh, I choose all these files here. This is my first commit. I say commit here and I confirm. And now all these files are being pushed automatically up to GitHub. So if I go to GitHub now and I refresh, the files are up here. And this is my first commit. And uh, if I go back here, uh, you can see the history that this is my master branch and this is my first commit and I can see a file status here. So um, the next thing I want to show is what happens if we go in here and uh, we, we actually do make a change. This is a change to my file and I save it. Then I go back to source tree and now there's an indication that there's uh, in this uh, in the web folder the file called login.jsp there's a change here and uh, then I, I would actually it says there are uncommitted changes so let, let's commit this then I say I create a commit message uh, made changes to login.jsp and let's let's try to do it in two steps. I could push it uh, immediately to uh, to the remote the remote repository as well, but I'll just do it locally first. I commit. So that's it. So now I can see that uh, this is made changes to login.jsp, and then uh, there's an indication here that I still need to push it to my remote. So if I click on push, I say okay. And now I'm up to date. So if I go to my local repository and I refresh this page, you can see there's two commits now. So that's the first commit and then the changes that I did to login.jsp. So uh, now I'm actually uh, I'm done with uh, with this small git example. So uh, and now we can we can track all the files and every time you make changes, you can just go to source tree and you can commit your files and you can push it. Uh, to the master branch. You should actually, before you, if you work together with other people who have uh, cloned your your remote repository, you should always remember to to fetch first. Uh, and I say fetch from all repository, all remotes. So I do that. But of course, no one else is working on on my <laughs> repository. I just pushed it up there, so so there are no changes. But always remember to fetch first, and then you um, or um, or pull. And then you, you just start working and then you push it up again after you have done. So this is just a brief tutorial on how to get uh, your Git, local Git repository created and connected it to GitHub.